the true simulation of a nuclear war. Two billion dead from direct hits and five billion from starvation. An American team of scientists simulated a nuclear war in the most realistic way, using only unclassified data, and came to the conclusion that everyone more or less knows, from the direct hits on the big cities, over two billion people will be exterminated, but from the starvation that will follow, another five billion will die, and those who survive will face a long nuclear winter. And rather, those who are killed from the start will be the luckiest. This simulation combines detailed modeling of nuclear targeting, missile trajectories, explosions, electromagnetic pulses, and the far-reaching effects of black carbon smoke on climate and, by extension, human survival. All these scientists' calculated calculations are visually presented in a stunning video depicting the nightmarish chain of events that would begin with a nuclear war on a global scale. And as the video shows, it does not really matter who starts the war when one side launches nuclear missile, missiles the other side, detects them, and launches its own attack before impact. Ballistic missiles from US submarines west of Norway start hitting Russia after about 10 minutes, and Russian ones from north of Canada start hitting the US a few minutes later. The very first shock hits electronic systems and electronic power networks, causing an electromagnetic pulse of tens of thousands of volts per meter. Subsequent strikes target command and control centers, as well as nuclear launch facilities. Land-based intercontinental ballistic missiles take about half an hour to fly to the next targets. Major cities are the focus both because they contain military installations and because they lend themselves to the enemy's post-war recovery. Each impact creates a fireball about as hot as the sun's core, followed by mushroom-shaped radioactive cloud. Anything near these intense explosions is vaporized while further away fires rage, people are blinded and seriously injured, and the blast wave crushes nearby buildings and destroys those far, farther away. The UK and France have nuclear capabilities and are obliged, obligated by Article 5 of NATO to defend the US so Russia is hitting them too. Fires engulf many cities where storm-level winds fan the flames, burning anything that can burn, melting glass and metals, and turning asphalt into a hot liquid. Nuclear winter? Unfortunately, research shows that explosions, electromagnetic pulse, and radioactivity are not the worst that can happen. A nuclear winter ensues, causing, caused by black carbon smoke produced by nuclear storms. The Hiroshima atomic bomb caused by such a storm, but today's hydrogen bombs are much more powerful. A large city like Moscow, with almost 50 times as many people as Hiroshima, can generate much more smoke and storm that sends black smoke into the stratosphere far above the main, the, the, uh, any rain clouds that would otherwise disperse the smoke. This black smoke is heated by sunlight and it will rise like a balloon for the next 10 years, spreading very quickly over much of the northern hemisphere. And this will cause the earth to freeze even in the summer with farmland in Kansas cooling by about 20 degrees Celsius and other areas cooling by almost twice as much. A recent scientific paper estimates that over 5 billion people could starve to death, including about 99% of those in the US, Europe, Russia and China, because most of the black carbon smoke remains in the Northern Hemisphere, where there's also produce, it also produces because the falling temperature hurts agriculture more in high latitudes. However, there is still huge uncertainties about the actual impact of a nuclear war on humanity, which would be either better or worse. Obviously, we don't know how many people will survive a nuclear war, but if it's even as bad as this study predicts, 
it has no winners but just losers. It's easy to feel powerless, but the good news is that there is something you can do to help help share the video here, the fact that nuclear war is likely to start through a gradual escalation, perhaps combined with an accident or miscalculation, means that the more people know about this conflagration, the more we can stop it. And this I've uh, translated from a Greek article. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.